Hey guys, it's Lina from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Cancer, my crabby crabby crabs, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of September. Guys, please remember these are general readings. Time is fluid and energies can be reversed. So the cards might pick up your energy or someone who's on your mind and take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive that is the case if you are here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you so very much crabbies welcome back we are ready let us go let us go let's start from where are we starting spirit whoa that is quite a bit here four of air healing break timeout this feels like a timeout there's something that was weighing kind of heavy on your heart and you're like timeout i i really need to deal with this which seems like you were not dealing with this and that's the reason somehow something happened that made you take this time out five of waters grief yeah there is something that you need to deal with emotionally that you have been running away from that needs to be dealt with for sure nine of fire there's hope around it's not that it's not around but we need to deal with certain things nine of fire is nine of wands nine of wands usually is the energy of a soldier who's holding the front a wounded one so we need to heal ourselves there is healing energies around it's not that it's not around your angels are around you but you first need to acknowledge that there is something to be healed for you to start working on it right you've been running away from something crabbies we need to now deal with it because it's come and somehow for some punched you in the face and be like oh oh i was not over with it was i uh who are you fooling certainly yourself i don't think there are people that you are fooling it seems like you're fooling yourself but not anymore because now it's here and you have to deal with it transformation and all of this is you becoming a better version of yourself it's a transformational phase going on it's the phoenix rising from its ashes but for the phoenix to rise again the phoenix has to burn right so clearly it's a tough cycle from whatever that you are trying to come out of that you kind of put on hold for a while mentally or otherwise but it came back again in the picture and now well there's no running away from it anymore that's all five of water spirit let's get some there page of air look there are some truths that you need to figure out and face i hear not just figure out but face page of air is a page that brings along truth as ugly as they are well truth's truth messenger of air again so much of air here from the four to the five to the page to the messenger this is all about dealing with ugly truths dealing with your own truth how long are you gonna run away from it because you have been running away from it for a while and you just went into a timeout transformation let's get something on this side this feels like what is needed energetically this feels like what you are doing right now this is very external environment internal environment what you need to deal with externally so that internally you can start the process of healing and transformation transformation let's keep the energy going there spirit seven of earth yeah 
gotta keep working on yourself gotta keep working on yourself crabs seven of earth is planting seeds for the future whatever this phase is whatever this pain is whatever this grief is is preparing you for the future you more on this side please whoa okay magician look you can't achieve anything that you want to achieve it's not out of reach it's for you to believe in yourself this is you believing in yourself this is you working through this pain through this cycle <coughs> believing that you can do it and you can turn into a better person Five of Earth, again, five of air, five of Earth. This is coming out of that sense of lack. Coming out from that dry phase. Coming out from a dead phase. The light coming out of this almost dead Earth Angel. Look, from the belly, the light comes out. It's as if it was hollow inside. But still, life is coming out. There's still a lot of life left in you, crabs. Don't give up on yourself, I hear. Four of Earth. Work, work, work. Keep working. Universe is going to give you. Look. This is an angel, an earth angel standing here with blessings in her hand. So clearly there is something to deal with, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, let's put it that way. It feels like some for some, it feels like, oh, it's the end of the world. But no, it isn't. And I feel that there is some kind of truth about your own self also that you need to deal with. Queen of air, exactly. So let's not be nonsensical about things, okay? Queen of air is my cut the crap lady. Everybody knows that, right? So we got to look at things objectively for us to manifest a better future for ourselves. Transformation is not a phase that is easy to say the least, okay? It's a, it's a tough process. It is. Uh, we got to keep our thought process straight here. One more to close this energy circle. Spirit, just one. Okay, right there. Empress, look at that. Look at that. There's hope. There's abundance. There's healing. There's new beginnings. Empress is all about new beginning and five of air. Clearly, it's a it's a delicate spot to be in where you are. There is a lot of struggle here. Understandable. Yes. And we have 555. Five, five. That in itself, please look into that angel number. That is a number of transformation. Time to change things. If you want things to change around you, you got to start from yourself, from within. You have to. I always say this, do not stand in front of Eiffel Tower and say, this is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in the Oktoberfest. Yeah, then you should have gotten into the right aircraft. Hello. It's like fooling yourself. But I was in the aircraft. I was at the airport. I checked in on time. I made all the efforts i did everything that i could i was there three hours before yeah but fool you got into a wrong aircraft altogether so all your effort went down the drain you gotta stay focused on where you gotta head right you cannot just run around like a headless chicken and then complain and that is where i am coming with this queen of air energy stop fooling yourself cut the bloody nonsense that you've been feeding your brain and talk sense and face the truth and that is when the doors towards new is gonna open up yeah stop fooling yourself crabs seems like you have been for a while let's go to the timeout. it's it's learning phase hierophant 
it is whatever that you have been running away from you would not be able to simple as that the pattern is going to repeat itself because the learning has not come your way this is here to teach you something so take the learning so that you can move further five of waters five of waters ten of wands and the five of swords look there is a clash there is a burden that you are carrying there has been some kind of conflict externally internally whatever it is and i feel there is more like an external conflict that has led to an internal conflict so everything is messed up basically five 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 by the way you have four fives ten of wands is this burden that you're carrying in your heart on yourself that's not letting you move further in life so it's time to face it page of air time to face some truth some ugly ones as well look five of wands we are talking about this conflict you're running away from something crabs you are uh, running away from tough situation and you have to face that there is as i said something externally that happened that led to some really really complex internal clash of emotion that you have been running away from which has made you feel that that burden you cannot go for a marathon with that kind of burden that you are carrying you need to let go of this heavy energy you gotta put that off your shoulders if you want to go for a marathon if you're gonna go long term if you're gonna work on your transformation you got to messenger of earth and it seems like there is someone coming your way who is making you actively or passively just their presence in your surrounding or there is someone who is actively telling you to face this because how long are you gonna run away queen of wands yes this energy is very very strong you might be dealing with a with a leo as well queen of wands is a very strong energy and queen of wands is also an energy which is straight up no sugar coating happening here okay it is what it is just like that queen of air queen of air is to the level of being brutal honest okay queen of wands still might have a little warmth in the heart but you know she's not going to sugarcoat something if there is something stupid that you are doing so this could be a passive or an active energy i feel more active but there could be just someone's presence in your life that is in some ways pushing you to deal with this nonsense that you have taken a time out and put it in the background and boxed it up but that's not helping you because you haven't learned from it you need to take a time out to focus on it so that you can learn let's go to the nine of fire seven of cups there is more than enough that life has to offer you that life is going to offer you but if you are just going to stay stuck in your head how exactly are you going to even acknowledge all this abundance that you have around you how are you going to be able to heal yourself or be on that path of healing and transformation transformation spirit why do we have this transformation here please clarify transformation look as i said there is more than enough there is some really really beautiful new beginning waiting for you but for this you need to walk through the fire you have to forge through the fire transform yourself become a better person so that you are ready to take this new challenge in life and it doesn't feel like a challenge it feels more like an opportunity that has got a lot of potential but you gotta work through things this is planting seeds for the future 
if you want to be abundant you want to you know manifest magic in your life you got to work through things shit doesn't come easy okay and whatever comes easy also goes easy seven of earth page of swords again look this is what i'm saying you got to focus bring your focus back into dealing with what you need to do so that you can be honest with yourself as to where you want to put your focus on four of earth the fool look life is gonna give you something and it's for you to take that leap of faith but to for you to start this new beginning there is something new coming up you got to resolve this nonsense you have to you got to shed that load there is no scope for that check-in this flight takes off without check-in baggage no baggage is allowed so you gotta drop that for you to start this new thing magician look you can manifest this two of wands is you being at the crossroads to choose this path for yourself but for you to start walking on this path, you need to clear some hurdles that you have created energetically. For you to be independent, for you to be free from this conflict. Nine of Pentacles is a very, very confident energy. It's a very independent energy. It's a very prosperous energy. And you want to manifest this clearly with that Ace of Pentacles right there. But for that, you need to work through this perhaps i feel like almost being pushed by your angels to have this message straight and clear learn from your mistakes whatever this nonsense clash is that is going on around and inside of you deal with that shed that load and start working on yourself there's too much of energy being put into something which is very trivial i feel that needs to be pushed aside. You need to focus on your future. You need to focus on the potential. You need to focus on the options that life has given you. You need to focus on your freedom, your independence, your prosperity, your abundance. You. This is a very, very individual, independent energy. And you are at the crossroads. And you can manifest this. That's magician right there. You can make it happen. Five of Earth. Now let's go to Five of Earth. Look, Wheel of Fortune. You can turn things around. Yes, it is in your hand to breathe life into an almost dead situation. It's like a part of your heart is going to bloom again. The universe is going to favor you if you work consciously on yourself on yourself okay queen of air this queen of air is again taking me to that queen of wands page of cups and nine of cups look you wanna achieve your dreams you want to have your wishes fulfilled well start working on it page of cups is all about starting from the scratch pages are all from you know square one let's start let's have this new thing rolling and if you start on this whatever that your heart wants to work upon but this whatever crappy energy is not letting you is your self-created energy blocks that you need to work upon and once you clear that nobody will stop you nobody can stop you in achieving your dreams and that is what this queen of air is telling you very objectively, very straightforward, very non-motherly way, I would say. It's a very matter-of-factly energy. It might be some elderly female energy that I feel in your life right now. This could be your teacher. This could be, you know, someone at the workplace. This could be someone that you look up to someone that is your to-go person a friend as well who is mature much mature than you are somebody from the family but there is a 
motherly elderly figure who is not being so motherly at this point in time somebody who's being very objective because as the empress here an empress is all about you know nurturing so there is somebody who wants to nurture you in becoming a better version of yourself but at this time this person is not really sitting there with a bowl of balm to heal your wounds you have to work through things to heal your own wounds that's what this energy is telling you empress what is this new beginning coming in whoa yeah look three of swords that's pain right there that grief we deal with it and empress is also a number three right here we got to deal with this pain for us to start something beautiful we are not addressing something because of which we are unable to start something for ourselves this is very me energy right here with that nine of pentacles that ace of pentacles magician with the wheel of fortune things are going to move that fool you start with that leap of faith look empress again yes we got to work through this conflict to start something beautiful and new for us for us crabbies not for anybody else this is nobody else's energy but you you got to focus on yourself no third party no second party only first party that is you your future your transformation your healing you leaving this baggage you addressing this inner and outer conflict you dealing with this grief and pain take a time out and deal with it and deal with it honestly there are some ugly truths that need to be faced about your own self as well about how you landed up handling this as well whatever this is that has brought you so much of pain and grief healing will start only then okay let us oh pala wow <laughs> i just said healing is gonna start that's how healer of the ages just popped out for you oh my god this is uncanny let us read this there is something clearly that needs to be healed some kind of pain some kind of grief health and vitality this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing the light of the divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention this amazing entity is with you now bringing resolution to physical mental and emotional ills helping you unblock stuck energies and revitalize your life force look at that that's what i'm talking about thank you so much universe for reconfirming this there is this stuck up energy that we need to clear up and we have someone in our surrounding who is like a motherly figure but at this point in time is being very objective and straight to the point and you know not really being as soft-handed as usually this energy is but there is a reason for that the intention is to face and heal that's how we're going to start the process of healing as i said you may have felt a strong presence recently or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now you can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality balance or renewal look transformation is on the cards crabs this is no joke seriously this is no joke you got to face this for the healing to take place and your transformation is in your hands your future is in your hands because there is a lot that life is going to offer and the times changing there is this dreams coming true card right here but we got to be the ones to clear up these blocks know that at the deepest level an important healing is taking place know that and help your angels help you okay don't stand in 
the path of your own healing and on that note my crabbies i'm gonna take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods